Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling. And welcome to the channel. And welcome to this update on, as you can see here, the 1200 um, Trumpeter uh, Yama Yamato battleship. Now, uh, in this video, we're going to look at some aftermarket products that have come out and been released for this. And um, we'll see what's in them and what's available at the moment that you can get for this model. Now, if you haven't already, please um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the notifications bell so you get notified each time I release a video. And uh, comments are welcome below. If you've got any comments or questions or ideas, thoughts, whatever you want, put it down below and give us a thumbs up at the end if you like the video. So, um, this was, uh, I did a review on this uh, a couple of months back when it was first released and it turned out to be extremely popular. I think one had a, one of the most views uh, anywhere on YouTube. Now, if you want to know about this model and what, what you get in the box, um, as I do a box opening and a, and a review, um, you can go back to the playlist on my channel and I'll leave a link in the description and uh, watch watch that and uh, and then uh, come back and watch this or watch this now it doesn't make a difference um, so what I'm gonna do is um, we'll bring the camera up closer and uh, we'll have a look at what we've got um, we'll probably get back up on the bench and then what we'll do is um, we'll compare these replacement parts and additional parts to the kit parts and uh, and see what you all think of it, okay? All right, so I'll be back shortly and we'll have a close look at what we can get here. Cheers. Okay, so I thought we might as well stay down here and use this as a bench top. And uh, let's have a look. So this, uh, these aftermarkets are being distributed by a company called 3D Wild. Now, I'll, they're based in America, in Philadelphia. Um, I'll put their website down in the description below. And you can buy these. Now, they actually are distributors for uh, another company and I don't know for sure how to pronounce it. It's spelled C-H-U-A-N-Y-U. So I'm going to just say Chanyu. Chanyu. All right. Or maybe I just won't say anything. <laughs> um, but they're the ones who produce these, these items. Now, these are for the 1200 scale Yamato, whether it's the Glow 2B or the... Um, monochrome or the gallery models version they're all the same they're all made by trumpeter okay the only difference between them is the boxing and the instructions which are the same but one comes as a ring binder and the other comes as your normal trumpeter looking instructions okay so let's have a look at what we got the first thing is the decks now we've got wooden decks now, this company, I've used them before when I built, I think it was the hood. And I used their decks and they were fine. They, they're really nice. Um, very nice detail. And um, they go on nicely. So I haven't had pulled these out yet. This will be the first time I've taken these out. Now, the cost of these was... If I remember, about 120 US dollars. That may have included postage. And now I'm in Australia, so postage was not that cheap, but it still wasn't too bad. Um, so I think they're about 120 dollars for this, for all of this, which is really good, really good. So here's our decks. We'll just have a quick look through. And what I'll do is um, we'll open up the box here. We'll bring out the actual decks 
and we'll have a look at them um, in their fitting. Now, one thing I have to mention is that I was one of the monks the first to order these. And when they came from the company to the distributor of 3D Wild um, and got distributed out, some of the people who got them before me discovered some problems, some fitting issues. And now um, some of the, uh, the they've noticed was that the these around the turrets were too wide. There's too much of a gap around the turrets. We're, we're going to see that when, when we have a look at these on the deck. Um, and also a few other fitting issues where they weren't quite lining up properly. Now, since then, this company that I can't pronounce, <laughs> Chen Yu, um, They've rectified that problem. They've um, sorted out their, these are all done by laser, so they've fixed the errors with the laser cut. And all those, including myself, that were sent out these, um, will be sent out uh, the ones that fit properly, the ones that have been fixed. So if you were to order them now, or any time after this video and you see this, you'll get the ones that are, are properly fitting, okay? Now, I don't have them to show you here now because uh, I'm not expecting them to show up for another month or two because of the way the postage is so slow um, and I didn't want to wait. So, But I do know from people I've had contact with that have received these one, these uh, rectified and fixed decks that they do fit perfectly, okay? They look exactly the same, they fit perfectly. All right, so let's have a look at what we got. So here's one deck. So that's that. These are very thin wood. Um, they're adhesive backing, I think, although it doesn't feel like it. Actually, these look like they have to be glued. I will check that. I will check on that before the video ends, but it does look like these may have to be glued down. Okay. Um, so there's this, which looks like the main deck with the two big turrets. We've got this, these sections here, which all look quite good. Um, there's a couple little, it looks like something missing there. I don't know. Like I said, this is the first time I've opened this. No, it's not missing. Sorry, that's just a piece that sits on the deck. All right, so some of these, the, the bits have already been cut out, whereas, yeah, that's fine. They, you know, n the other, normally with these decks, you get, you've got to um, take off the little bits um, where pieces are sticking through, but here they already seem to have done that. Um, so there's that. Now we've got the masks. So we've got all the deck masking here. There's one, two, and that's going to be very hard to see, but they're all the masking tapes. Three, quite a lot. So you could mask up the whole, every other part of the deck that um, for, um, for spraying, for painting, I guess. Okay, so. That looks good. Now, also, we'll put this aside. Um, so like I said, that's gonna get replaced with the ones that fit properly. Also, in this, we have, we'll have a look here. Okay, so we've got some barrels here for the turret guns. Just open this up. All right, so. Let me get this open. Uh, well packed. So there's our main turret guns. We'll be, I'll be comparing these to the plastic parts. We'll just look at the size and the, and the, the length and make sure they're quite accurate. So we should have, um, there'll be nine of those. 
there's basically there's four there's nine 460 millimeter gun barrels and is it six six 155 millimeter gun barrels which is probably there's these ones in here too so we've got these little ones here okay there's also um, 24 there's the, the 127 mil and 25 mil gun barrels there's 24 of the 127 mil gun barrels and there's 72 of the 25 millimeter gun barrels. All right, so you're not missing anything. This is all the guns by the looks of it, all the barrels. So we'll take these ones out of here. So in here we've got, you can see those, we've got lots, even the tiny ones in there. All right, so, 6, 9, 24, 72. There's like 120 gun barrels in here. That covers everything. <laughs> also, we have another bag here. You get... Let me open this up. In here, we've got... Right, so there's two anchor chains. I don't remember if the kit actually includes anchor chains. I guess it probably doesn't if they've added them. Um, but we'll, we'll check that when we open up and have a look. And then in here we've got uh, eight large size bollards. And then, then, and then also in there we've got 16 smaller size bollards as well. So they're also a nice touch. So not bad, eh? Not bad little bit of work. So now as for the photo etch, as you know, I think there's there's 15 sheets of photo etch that come with this kit. Um, Pontos, at the time of making this video now, um, word has it is they've finished their um, kit of photo etch, extra photo etch. Um, I think there could be another 15 or 16 more sheets for photo etch if you wanted to go that way. <laughs> um, I think they're arranging the um, box art for the package that's coming in, but they're all completed and possibly available by the end of this month, being October, or the pre-order is available. So you have to check their website for that. At the moment, we're looking at these 3D Wild um, distributed ones um, by Chen Yu, I'm going to pronounce it as. All right. So um, I think we'll move up to the bench and um, we'll get a couple of decks, the decks out and we'll have a look at these sitting on the deck. Okay, make sure the holes are in the right place even though they may be a bit out oversized, um, but make sure everything's in its right place and everything's going to, they're going to sit down nice and flat. And then we'll have a look at, at all this in a bit more detail. Okay, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. We're up on the dining table bench. This is the box D from the kit, which includes the decks. And uh, it's quite big, as you can see. Let's get this open, slide this out. We've got one piece there. Big piece there. That's it. Yep. Put this down. Right. So first of all, let's have a look at this one. Move that over. And here it is. Let's see. Now there's our deck. 
Now, it's really a nice deck. Um, the, the, the wood planks on there look really nice and would come up fine if it was just painted. But if you want to go the wood deck option, which is what I'm going to do, um, this is what you've got to deal with. So let's try and see if we can put this on and have a look. Now, I know that this will probably not fit to crash hot. And as I place that on there, I'm looking at uh, how that goes in. And I can see what they mean by the gap around there. There's probably about, or oh, I'd say, yeah, there's like a, a, a two millimeter gap where it should really go right up to the turret. Yeah, that's what I mean. So this will be, the, the newer deck will be fitting better. Uh, and then everything else seems to line up okay. It's pretty good. Now I'm noticing that this section here doesn't, there's some decking showing through. What I'll do is I'll move the camera to a more top down view and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm seeing. Okay, hang on a second, back shortly. Okay, so that's a bit better. So what I'm doing is I'm lining it up to where it would be in its correct position. Let's come out there. Be a bit careful there where some of the decks come off. Now I won't be using this deck, this will be replaced, so I'm not too concerned about damaging it too much, but um, just by placing it where it's going to go, there's a bit of a lip, there's a lip all the way along here where it sits down. And it does seem to fit in there. Yeah, it does. It fits in there really nicely. It's the right width and it comes, butts right up into that edge nicely. But where I see problems is on this one here, just trying to see, yeah, it's just that circle cut around this turret just seems a little bit out. Um, that's where it would position, pretty sure. And it seems to cut, cut in a bit too close here. Um, and also going back to here, I can see wood deck where it goes right up to where that square is, but this overlay doesn't. So you know, I'm not sure what sits on there, but whatever it is, um, I don't think it's going to stick out and leave that much gap around. There seems to be way too much gap. For this turret, it again, I can see where the plastic representation of the wood deck is closer than what the actual wood deck here is. Um, with these here, same, like if I could just show you, you can't, I don't know how you can see this or not, but the plastic wood deck goes right up to the edge of here, and this doesn't. There's like, you know, it's got to be like three millimeter, four millimeter gap. It doesn't butt up to there like it does on the deck. Um, so maybe the pieces that sit on top of these does fill that gap, but I don't know if that were the case. Yeah, I'm not sure if that would be right. Um, these seem a little bit out as well. They're not sitting um, right on there. And this here, now I'm going to take this off. Just going to bring that up and take that off a bit. We can see that the so once again the wood deck on the on the plastic model here goes right to right up to the edge of this here 
around the superstructure, it goes right onto it. But this wooden deck overlay doesn't. Look at the size of that gap between. So hopefully on the new deck, um, that will all be sorted. And again, the other one, which I'm guessing would be this part, um, that's going to go on there. So everything on the deck that needs to come up through is in is okay. I'll bring this so you can see. Oh, the camera is so massive. <laughs> All right. So with this in position here, um, they seem okay. Again, there's a there's a bit of a gap around here on that one. So same with that. That seems okay. There's nothing under there that hasn't been represented as showing through, so that's all right. The holes are all in the correct place. So that's good. And then we've got another part of the deck here, which may be on here. Um, no, I don't think there's any wood deck on that section. So I'm sort of guessing that anyway yeah that's probably on an uh the upper upper deck which should be still in the box um, but i won't bother with that because this deck isn't accurate so we'll see when we get the new deck um, how that's all going to go all right so okay so what i'll do now is um We'll have a look at the um, other bits and pieces this uh, aftermarket set comes with and uh, we'll compare them to the parts from the kit. All right, we'll be back shortly. Now, one more thing I'll mention before I put this deck away is that it does come with an adhesive backing and uh, so that solves that problem. We won't have to glue it down. All right, I'm back in a sec. Okay, so here we have the 460 millimeter gun barrels. And first thing I notice is how light they are. They seem to be like, uh, they're not brass, they're like an aluminium. Um, very light, as light as the plastic almost. Um, now they're exactly the same length. There's no difference in the length when I compare them. Um, the width looks the same. I don't see any difference in the width. Um, obviously they're, they're hollow down to about, say, five millimeters into there, which is about the same as what the plastic parts are. Um, there's little parts on the on the sides of the plastic bits, which are all part of the detail, um, that these don't have. So um, the rings around here are, are pretty much just that, fairly plain, as you can see. But then if you look at the ones on the plastic ones, it seems to be more detail. You can see that. Um, well, personally, I'm sort of thinking, well, maybe I would go with the plastic ones. They seem to be a little bit more detailed than these. Yeah, they definitely are. These have more detail. I hope you can see how close you can see those little, see them? I don't know what they are. Like, you know. I don't know there's some sort of braces they look like, but you can see them. They're not on this. This is just flat, plain. So anyway, that's these. Um, they fit in here fine, just as the others would. Uh, and if you're going with this option, they also fit in there as well. So, you know, the, the shank that they sit on is a little bit shorter than the plastic one, but that makes no difference. But I really think the plastic ones 
well they they do seem to have more detail than these okay so that's those now we've also got um let's have a look there's gun barrels for the there's six 155 millimeter gun barrels let me put these away I'm guessing in here would be the next largest ones. It's going to be these ones. And yet yeah, there's six there. And I'm thinking that may be them there. I'm not too sure. But again, um, same thing. Um, nice detail. They seem smaller. No, I think these may not be the same guns. Um, you know, in, in most cases, particularly these, there's like 90, how many do we, the 25 millimeter ones, there's 72 of. You know, that looks like them there. Two, three bags of them. They all look the same. I'm guessing that would be those. The anchor chains, I was mentioned that earlier. The kit doesn't include anchor chains, so there they are there. And they're already um, black. So that's good. Um, these are the bollards. And... Uh, they should be fine. Whether or not there's any extra detail in those or not, um, probably not. Um, I'll see if I can find them in the kit. It's just that there's so many parts to this and so many boxes and bags. <laughs> yeah. It's difficult to find anything. But, uh, all right, let me go and uh, see what else I can find, particularly with these larger gun barrels. Back in a sec. Okay, so I'm back and uh, just going to have a look at these. So these smaller little barrels here, they do have a little bit more detail um, than the little pieces of plastic on the smaller guns. They'd be the 25 millimeter guns. Um, there's a little bit more detail, so they're probably definitely worth having on, on there. These ones, uh, the bollards, fine. It's a nice touch. Um, they look good on there as well. Um, these ones, this, is this the one, the six? So they're the 655, is it? Yeah, 155 millimeters. Um look exactly like the plastic i don't know uh, probably you know all, all right to put them on um they look all right um the main big uh turret guns personally i think the plastic ones look better and uh whereas all this is brass these seem to be in aluminium um not that that matters but i think the, the Hit plastic ones uh, definitely have more detail on them than those. And both of these, when I looked at them, uh, look exactly the same as the plastic. Um, same length and everything, so it's up to you if you want to put them on as well. The anchor chains, of course, you'll need, you'll need those, so that'll be handy. Okay, so there you go. So there it is from 3D Wild, you can go to their link in my description below and um, have a look at the website. Now, I said the price earlier was about $120, it's actually $100. Postage would be on top of that, depending where you are. But for $100, um, that's worth it just alone for the deck. Um, these are all just extras. I I'm glad I got these, came with it, but I mainly bought it for the deck. So, yeah, and uh, if you haven't already, go back and watch the unboxing and review of the Yamato one I did. 
That link will also be down in the description and there'll be a link at the end of the video as well. This is the only aftermarket stuff available I know of at the moment for a deck. I'm sure others will come out at some point, um, but I have used this brand of deck before and they, they are quite good. They look really nice. They're very, very thin, so just be aware of that, um, but they go down quite easily. Um, and they're, they're a good quality deck. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Up to you if you want to check that out and have a look at them. Um, but uh, definitely uh, worth the money, I think. I think for, the, for, for what you get. All right, so um, thanks for watching this. Uh, don't forget to go to the playlist and check out the um, 1200 scale Yamato unboxing that I did. You want to see more information on what you get in the box. I'll be reviewing the um, Pontos when that finally comes out. I'll probably do a video on all that as well. Um, but another thing I might just add at the end here too, I'll be back in a second, I'll show you. Okay, so here's another item I bought as a bit of an extra, and that's the Anatomy of a Ship's um, Yamato and Masushi. Now, um, definitely worth grabbing this, whatever level of modeler you are. Um, not only does this look good, would this book look great sitting next to your model? But the wealth of information in here, um, as you can see, there's over a thousand scale drawings in here and 350 color 3D views as a resource while you're building is fantastic. Um, there's a lot of uh, photographs in here. All the photographs that exist, I think, are in here, um, all about the history. Then we've got some beautiful shots of it. Um, it's just amazing. I won't go through all this in detail. There are other um, uh, YouTube channels that have gone through this, I think. Um, so Nigel's Modeling Workbench, um, I'll put his link down in the description as well. He's done a great uh, review and a look through this book and definitely worth going and having a look at. Um, he's also done a review on the Yamato ship itself. Um, but yeah, these drawings are be so handy for everything that you need. Um, so much. Look at that. Uh, fantastic, isn't it? So definitely um, grab yourself one of these books. They're not cheap, but uh, for me anyway, I had to buy this from overseas. They didn't have any uh, in Australia. Again, it's a fantastic reference, so grab one of those as well. All right, so thank you for watching, and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you get notified of the videos that come out. And um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and your comments are welcome. If you've got any comments or questions or anything, just put that all down below for me. And Whip over to that playlist or the link that you'll see come up and uh, go and check out the unboxing that I did with this uh, magnificent ship. All right, so until next time, thanks for watching. See you all. Bye.